What's up everyone back for another beer review and today is the continuation of Mix Six Pack Theme Month here on the channel and the beer I'm reviewing today comes from the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company and they're out of both Chico, California and Mills River, North Carolina and this is their Hazy Little Thing IPA. So this is a New England style IPA, comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs at the time of review. This can is just over two months old. So when it comes to New England style IPAs from the big three uh, craft beer companies, which would be Boston Beer Company, aka Samuel Adams, New Belgium Brewing Company, and this year Nevada Brewing Company, this would be my least favorite of the three. Now, full disclosure, I've had this one before and all three of them. Uh, and if I was to rank them in order for my own personal preference, number one would be Samuel Adams New England style IPA. Number two would be New Belgium's uh, Voodoo Ranger Hazy and Juicy IPA. Number three would be this. Is there a huge difference between the three? Uh, not Personally, for me, I think I just enjoy the Sam Adams uh, a little bit more than the New Belgium and the New Belgium a little bit more than this one. I just thought this one, I don't know, for me, it just, it lacked a little bit. And I'm sure if you asked everybody who had all three of them, there would be different, you know, rankings for almost everybody. That's because, you know, as everyone always says, beer is subjective. And in this case, I really do think that is the case. I've seen a lot of people really enjoy this one and like hate the new, uh, the uh, Samuel Adams one and not really care for the New Belgian one. So uh, we're all going to have different rankings. But I thought I would review this one because I haven't reviewed it on the channel. And uh, it's been quite a while since I've had this. It's been close to a year, I think, since I've had this one. And uh, yeah, I had it pretty fresh. I had it, I think it was like two or three weeks old. And then I had it around five or six weeks old. Now this one's just over two months old. Now when you're doing mixed six packs at your local grocery stores, sometimes you can't get the freshest uh, cans or bottles. And this one's just over two months old. I'm gonna give it a fair shake. Uh, I believe for the hops in this, they're using Citra, Comet, Eldorado, Magnum, Mosaic, and Simcoe based on what their website says. And uh, I will trust their website. So yeah, anyway, let's crack this open, get it into glass, see what we got going on. Now, I wanna say, I think, I don't think I untapped this. Um, I might, might have not tapped any of the uh, New England style I paste from any of these uh, guys. Maybe just the uh, Sam Adams one. I want to say I gave this like a 3.5 when I originally uh, drank it. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, 3.5 means I would buy it again, which I clearly did. I clearly bought this beer again. And on top of that, um, it's not a bad rating. You know, it's just for me, when I was comparing it to the other two, I just didn't think it was uh, as good. Anyway, yeah, so that looks like a New England style IPA. I mean, it's super hazy, has this really burnt orange color to it, very murky and turbid, about a finger, finger and a half of a soap, sudsy-like uh, off-white head. Uh, yeah, that I mean, that looks like a New England style IPA. Give them credits for, you know, for baiting. If I poured this from anybody, one of the big New England uh, IPA producers, I you know, wouldn't be disappointed. Let's get a nose. Wow, that's really nice. Might be a little better than I remember it. It definitely smells juicy and fruity. Like I'm getting a lot of sweet, like orange, uh, like orange juice, tangerine juice. Mango, peach, apricot, big stone fruit vibes, big stone and citrus, not huge on the tropical for me. But yeah, that, that juicy orange is really hard to get past that. And like a juicy tangerine just has like a, a juicy citrus quality to it. There's a little bit of dankness, a little bit of like a um, herbaceousness as well. Getting a bit of the base malt character. This is over two months old. You might this might start developing a little bit of like a bready, almost white bread into like biscuity type of malt base. But yeah, it smells pretty good. Actually, I should be honest with you, it smells a lot better than I remember it. And that's the great thing about revisiting beers and trying them again and trying them at different ages and whatnot. You never know what you're going to try. So uh, I went into this with an open mind and I will tell you right now, this smells pretty damn good. So cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's 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 nice. That's really, I really dig the orange tangerine quality I'm getting this one. Right up front, the body's nice. It's like straight on medium body for 6.7%. The mouthfeel, I'd say that's one of the probably issues I have with the big uh, beer, big craft beer companies and their new style IPAs. They don't get quite to the level of the treehouse and trilliums and other halves. They just don't have that. Uh, that personality to their mouthfeel. That said, this is soft and smooth. It's not really creamy, but soft and smooth. There is a decent amount of carbonation here. It lets you know it's a beer. So the mouthfeel is fine. It, it's solid. It's good. The, the flavors, uh, there's an omnipresent malt character to this one. Like I said, it could be the age. It could be the beer. I can't remember if I, was, I got a huge malt character in this one, but I, I'm not getting a huge malt character. It's just, it's there. It's omnipresent. It's white bread. It's biscuity, slightly crackery. 
And that's on the base of the palate. Over top of it just comes these waves of juicy, like orange and tangerine juice, basically. And I'm getting a little bit of that stone fruit I was talking about, peach and apricot, but I'm getting like a peppery mango skin, a little bit of like an herbaceous dankness too, midway through the palate. It finishes slightly dry, but more to the sweet side, a very low residual bitterness on the back end. That's a good beer. Um, yeah, now I think I feel like I should, at some point in the near future, review the New England Style IPA from Sam Adams and the Voodoo Ranger Hazy and Juicy IPA from New Belgium, just so I have the reviews up and so I kind of, you know, revisit them because I haven't had any of those in like at least six months. But this is a little bit better than I remember it. My palate right now as I'm drinking this is fresh. I've had no other beers today. And yeah, it's good. Is this like some kind of mind-blowing uh, New England Style IPA? No, it, it isn't. And I, don't, I, I, think, I think a lot of people would probably agree with me. Maybe some of you think this is amazing. And hey, like I said, beer is subjective. We all have different palates, blah, blah, blah. We've all heard that before, but it is the truth. But for a beer that you can probably find for like $7.99, $8.99, a six pack, I got this in a mixed six pack for a buck 83. And the fact that, um, you know, you can pretty much get it all over America, wherever Sierra Nevada distributes, which is probably all the states at this point. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid good beer. Um, so I gave this, like I said, a 3.5 last time. I don't think I untapped it, but it was around a 3.5. So I'm going to bump this up a little bit. All right, back, had to do a jump cut. There was a spider crawling on and I didn't want to kill him on camera. So, you know, I just picked him up and swept him outside. So we're back. Anyway, I was in the midst of about to rate this beer and rating wise on the Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA, I have no issues giving this a actually a high 3.75 out of five. I'm gonna go with 3.85 out of five for this one. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying a lot more than I did last time. Uh, that's why I give beers usually second and sometimes third chances if I didn't initially like it. And this one is one that uh, I didn't initially dislike. It just didn't do much for me. But this this got bumped up a decent score. And yeah, 3.85 out of 5 for this beer is appropriate. Like I said, buck 83 I paid for this can. You probably can find six packs of this anywhere between like 8 to $10. So really good value. And their distribution, availability, wherever Sierra Nevada gets distro. And that's pretty much everywhere at this point. So yeah, if you've never had this one before, uh, definitely give it a go. 6.7%. I can't even tell. This is probably over 5. It, it drinks kind of like a pale ale from the ABV perspective. And yeah, it's a really nice summer crusher, I would say. Not my favorite offering from Sierra Nevada, not my favorite New England style IPA, but a damn tasty one that I got in a mixed six pack for a reasonable price. And uh, yeah, I enjoy it. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Uh, I really did enjoy it and I'm glad I gave it a second chance. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review. Check back tomorrow for another mixed six pack theme month offering. It should be a great time because this entire month has been great. I might have to do it again, maybe at least a week at some point. Anyway, take it easy. Cheers.